What is up everyone, this is Mo Tutorials here and today I'm going to talk about how to see if your PC or laptop is compatible for Windows 11. So if you have not heard, Microsoft is actually releasing Windows 11 soon. Don't know the exact time frames, but you can actually come check and see if your Windows is compatible. It might ask you a couple of questions. You might need to do certain things that certain people have been saying, such as, such as TPM and whatnot, which I will make a video on shortly. But Wanted to kind of quickly show you this website. We'll leave this in the description below that Windows 11 is here. It's basically giving you a new perspective, making you more productive, all that other good stuff. You know, trying to go down that route of Apple, trying to make it collaborative, make it more towards this digital world that we're living in, and you know, more open ended per se. And if you have a Windows 10 PC, you can technically upgrade to Windows 11 for free, which is the best thing. So, a lot of folks probably had Windows 10s because I believe it was a similar thing. If you had 7, you upgraded to 10 for free. And I'm, throwing, I'm, I'm assuming they're doing the same now. If you have 10, you can do 11 for free. Now, in here, there is a compatibility app. It's called the Use the PC Health Check app to see if your PC meets it or not. So I've actually downloaded and installed it, and I'm going to kind of show you this is basically how it looks like. I myself have no idea if it'll be compatible. We are going to check right now with us all together, and voila, we can see right now. So it says my processor isn't supported for Windows 11, and while this PC doesn't meet the system requirements to run on Windows 10 11, you'll keep getting Windows 10 updates. So it's interesting. It's actually saying my processor isn't supported by this, which is fairly interesting. I do have everything in the latest. I bought this PC back in like just a year or two years ago, so I'm kind of surprised. Or oh, actually, it says four years old. It's been a while then, I guess. <laughs> but still, it got all the latest specs and everything, so I'm kind of surprised it actually says that. But very similarly, you guys can basically check from here. There's a possibility that they will end up changing it or not. So it's saying you need a one gigahertz or faster with two or more cores on a compatible 64-bit processor. Very interesting. I thought I had that. I wonder if it's the TPM, which is the issue that I was talking about a lot of people are having as well. That could be the reason to why this is possibly happening. Very possible. Uh, unsure for now, but just wanted to kind of quickly show you, like, you can check this out. Uh, I will be making videos on, like, how to make sure you can make it compatible. If it's not a direct hardware issue, more of a software thing, how to make it compatible. If it's a hardware thing, maybe make a video on how to like change said hardware to make it possible. So yeah, wanted to quickly show you this video on how it works. Uh, you can use this app to see if it's compatible. And like I said, it's free. You can easily just continue using, or you can just continue using Windows 10 if you want to, or if you want to upgrade, which I I don't know if I'll be able to, but if I will, I'll definitely do it so I can show you guys all the other cool, neat stuff. And you know, just take it from there. Um, yeah, that's essentially it. If you guys overall uh, like this video, be sure to smash that like button. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that, more turtles out.